another year of record-breaking heat. But because this one little blue spot was colder than normal, Republicans say the rest isn't happening. I'm just a bear, man, so I can't vote. You can vote. You want a Republican president? You want another Clinton? Why didn't Frank Barish? I'm gonna tell it to you straight from the paw. Bears are worried about you humans. Are you really gonna fall for Hillary Clinton? I mean, really? America has become a shadow of its former self. Vote for Frank. Write him in. Straight from the paw. Hillary Clinton can't be trusted. She's in the pocket of big business. Even bears know this. These are serious times. Banksters, evil, lawless banksters, have extracted trillions of dollars. We want it back. This is gonna be a real campaign. Truth versus lies. Let's talk about the issues. The issues Americans care about. Right in, Frank Barish. His name was Leo Strauss, and he's the godfather of the neocons. You've never heard of him. Most people have never heard of him. But everything that's going on in the world in the world today is based on his teachings. And I say teachings because he was a professor at the University of Chicago. And among his students were Paul Wolfowitz and many of the architects of the Iraq War. And we're now going back to Iraq because of ISIS or eyes or ISIL or it's all a confusing mess and you're just scared? Well, that was his idea. He said you have to keep the masses terrified and then they'll let their leaders do whatever. They'll, they'll, they'll consent to a great amount of, of their rights being taken away, being giving a great amount of power to the government if you scare the hell out of them. And that's what they're doing. So... We need to talk about Leo Strauss, we need to talk about the neocons, because all that's going on in the world today, we can't just pretend that what the TV says is going on is exactly what's going on. We're going to talk about what's really going on. That's what this campaign is about. Word up, I am Frank Barish, and I want to be your president. Hillary Clinton is like this tree. Fake, and completely owned by big business. I'm real like those trees. Frank for president! So I'm going to pretend this globe is Hillary. Um, Hillary, are you going to be as beholden to big business as your husband was? Hmm. Anyone can vote for Frank. Bypassing the ballot access conundrum. What? Funds of the bear again. Talking politics. This country's in trouble. We need someone who believes in America. Humans, right into Frank Barish. So, Frank, you know the Frank for president campaign can't win. You know this, right? Bill, I'm not focused on winning. I just want to do the right thing. End bank bailout. Raise the minimum wage. Save social security. Build infrastructure. I'm only homeless till you put me in the White House. Frank Barish. The future of the Republic is at stake. Right in. Frank Barish. Israel. Israel's the tough question, man. The Jews were, I mean, Germany was trying to annihilate them, annihilate them off the planet. So the victors of that war gave them Palestine. Palestinians that had to leave their houses have been waiting in tents ever since. And it's been a long time. There's just not enough land and there's too many people. I mean, trying to solve the Middle East crisis, the Jews weren't welcome there either. And I don't know if the Jews should have a homeland. I thought we're supposed to just roam the earth. Because <laughs> having the homeland, that's just not working out very, near, very well right now. And uh, I learned something studying World War II, and that is if you put a a whole bunch of Jews in a really small place that it goes really badly later. And the idea, all it takes is a couple of nuclear weapons. And Israel could be wiped off the face of the planet. <laughs> it was never a good idea to go there. <laughs> I mean, right? So its very existence is... <sighs> but it's there, so what do we do? And it's America's biggest ally, and what do we do? And it's tough. And these are questions, uh, I think... The other candidates should sit down and discuss with me, quite frankly. <laughs>